Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to combine resistors in circuits. So before we get started, just a couple reminders. If you have resistors that are in series, then that means the total resistance, R total, is simply R1 plus R2 plus however many resistors you have in series, if you have more than two. And then if your resistors are in parallel, it means you're gonna use the equation R total equals parenthesis one over R1 plus one over R2 plus dot dot dot, however many resistors you have, and that's to the negative first power. Another way you could write the parallel one, I've also seen people write it like this, and this is the exact same thing, although I prefer my way better, but it just doesn't have the negative first power on it, but it's the same equation. And so remember, when we're combining resistors, these resistors can be in parallel, they can be in series, and they can be in a combination of parallel and series. My recommendation is, if you don't know which resistors to combine next, always choose the resistors furthest from the battery. That doesn't always work, but it will work most of the time. So now let's look at some examples. For this first one, I want to combine the resistors between terminals A and B, and the circuit's gonna look like this. And then to give some values, this is two ohms, this is six ohms, this is also two ohms, eight ohms here, three ohms here, and then the middle one will be six ohms. And before we even start this, first of all, you're gonna need plenty of room if you wanna follow along with me and you wanna write on paper because we're gonna be redrawing the circuit every time we combine some resistors. So we're probably gonna to have to redraw the circuit like two or three times. Also, even though there's no battery, the fact that we're looking between terminals A and B, basically we would pretend there's a battery between A and B like this. We're pretending it's there. It doesn't have to be there in order to actually combine these resistors. But the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to combine these three resistors in series. Number one, because they are all in series with each other, and number two, because they are furthest away from the battery. So then in this case, they're in series, I can just add them up. Six plus two plus eight gives me 16, and that's ohms. So now redrawing the circuit, here's point A and point B again. These resistors are the same as before, but now those three resistors got combined to a single resistor of 16 ohms. And now, which resistors am I going to combine next? And the answer is these two, the six and the 16, and that's because, again, they are in parallel with each other and they are furthest away from the battery. So if I wanna add these two together, it's one over six plus one over 16 to the negative first power. When I plug that in a calculator, I get 4.4 ohms. And then rewriting it, I now have two ohms up here, a 4.4 ohm resistor right here, and then the last one is three ohms. And these three are in series with each other, so I can just add them up. Two plus 4.4 plus three. That's gonna be 9.4 ohms, and that's my final answer. So even though I don't need to draw this, I'll do it anyway. The space between A and B can be modeled by a single resistor with resistance 9.4 ohms. And that's how we do this first one. I have two more examples for you today. Here's the next one. I wanna find the total resistance between these two points and the circuit's going to look like this. We are going to have a diagonal resistor this time, which always confuses kids. They hate the diagonal resistor. But to give you some numbers, this is 16 ohms, this is 18 ohms, this is 34 ohms, and down here is 14 ohms. And no, it doesn't matter that I put a dot here and I didn't put a dot here. If it makes you feel better, there, now the dots in both spots does not change the answer. So go ahead, think about this, try it on your own first, and then unpause the video when you're ready to see the solutions. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First, picking the first two to combine, it's not the diagonal one, it's these two resistors that are in series and furthest away from the imaginary battery. 16 and 18 are in series, so it's 16 plus 18, giving me 34 ohms. 
So then I'm going to draw that in the space below. So these parts are still the same. Now for the one resistor, doesn't matter where I draw it, I'll draw it here, and that's 34 ohms. Now many people get confused by the fact that this is on a diagonal. If it makes you feel any better, you can redraw the circuit so that it looks like this, and it's clearly just two resistors in parallel, because that's what they are. They are in parallel, the 34 and the other 34. They're in parallel, and so I will add these two in parallel. And no, it did not matter that it was on a diagonal. It did not matter at all. So to add these up, it's 1 over 34 plus 1 over 34. Raise this to the negative first power, and you'll get 17 ohms for that one. So then we just have two resistors, a 17 ohm here and a 14 ohm here. We just have to add these up. These are in series. So it's just 17 plus 14, and that's going to give us 31 ohms, and that's the answer for the second one. Okay, just one more to go. This will be the hardest example. Okay, here we go. This even looks complicated, just drawing it. And then I need to give some numbers. Okay, and here are all the numbers. Now the question is, which resistors do I combine first? There's a couple options. I'm not going to say one is right and one is wrong, but the two options you can choose from, one, you can combine these three that are clearly in parallel, or you can combine these two that are in series, or you can do both, which is probably what I'm going to do right now. So to combine the red first, the ones in parallel, it's 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30, and that's to the negative first power, and we'll get 5.5 ohms for that one. Then for the two blue resistors, that's really easy. They're in series, so it's 6 plus 3 equals 9 ohms. Now maybe you're confused how you write this, so I'll show you. So I think we can all agree the 9 ohms right here didn't change because we didn't touch it. Then there's going to be one resistor right here. It's the 5.5 ohms from the red previously. And then the two blues combine to just make a single resistor right here, who is also 9 ohms. And then just connect the lines back, and we have this. This is significantly better. Now hopefully you see that I'm supposed to add these two, which are in series. So 5.5 plus 9 gives me 14.5 ohms. Redrawing the circuit with that. 9 ohms here. And then 14.5 ohms there. These two are in parallel, obviously. So then all I gotta do is 1 over 9 plus 1 over 14.5 and raise that to the negative first power. And with that, we'll get a final answer of 5.6 ohms. And there we go. That's all the questions I have for us today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.